President Trump firing back at critics of his North Korea summit. Yesterday, the president tweeting, quote, the denuclearization deal with North Korea is being praised and celebrated all over Asia. They are so happy over here in our country. Some people would rather see this historic deal fail than give Trump a win, even if it does save potentially millions and millions of lives. The president also getting some heat for announcing he will suspend military drills with South Korea, a significant concession, though the president says the drills will be reinstated if North Korea fails to denuclearize. So, did President Trump speak too soon? And what exactly is Kim Jong-un giving us in return? Joining me now, Iraq combat veteran and KFI AM 640 radio host, Brian Suits in the house. Hello, Suitsy. Good to see you. Thank you. Great to be seen. Uh, so let's discuss here because the president says this is the first step. There will be many to follow. And he got a strong commitment to denuclearize. We are in a better place as far as peace uh, on the Korean Peninsula. Was suspending these drills with South Korea a mistake? And was it too much of a concession? We didn't really suspend them. Ooh. Uh, but we are going to rename them. Um, here's the thing. Kim Jong-un, uh, he consented two and a half months ago. He finally put up his hands and said, you know what? We have exercises. You guys have exercises. Let's just exercise. Um, <laughs> and so this was sort of a needless concession, but it looks good and it makes it look like we really are making a concession. So balls in his court. But, you know, the fact of the matter is these were funded a year ago. We're still going to have them. We're going to rename them. You know, they're not going to be called full legal you know, team sp but yeah, or uh, the team spirit. They're going to be called, like, you know, sneaky weasel you know, or whatever. Sure. But th the money will be spent on exercises. Mm -hmm. uh, and the North Koreans know that. But publicly, what we've said to the world is, hey, look what we've done. We've stopped these provocative mm -hmm. uh, war games. Um, and, and so the North Koreans now have to make, a, a you know, an equally empty gesture, like not have their annual haircuts for their army yeah. or, or not yeah. fire 50 rounds from each artillery piece or something like that. And actually they have. They're talking to South Korea about pulling their artillery 40 kilometers north of the DMZ. Mm -hmm. They're talking, but they're not really going to do that. But so that's what's going on. Well, but it, it is easiest of all things to reinstate those drills. And, and that's one thing that, you know, these two militaries have been working together arm in arm for years in a concerted effort to make sure that there is peace through strength on the Korean Peninsula, whether or not you agree with it. That's easy to do. Now, when you lift the sanctions and you ease the pressure, which is what North Korea ultimately wants, that's when you have a harder time going back. And, and that's what the Clinton, Bush and Obama administrations, those are the problems that they have run into. Uh, yeah. And I mean, I, you know, I'm a critic of Trump, but I will give him credit. Talking is better than sinking South Korean patrol boats or shelling South Korean islands. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've put the ball in the North Koreans court behavior wise. They've never been in this position. They've always been rewarded for being, you know, the bad guys, yeah. the Adam Henry's. We're finally in a position where Trump, you know, intentional or not, has maneuvered them into a position where they now have to behave better than they ever have. And this is something new to them. And that I so I give them credit for that. All right. So does this stick? Is, is this something that, you know, we talk about denuclearization. We only have about 30 seconds. But is this something that will practically be applied before the end of the president's term? Um, it, it will stick because North Korea is getting far more out of it than yeah. they would uh, in, you know, in, in being the bad guys. The Down the road, policy. the United States is going to accept a nuclear North Korea. Yeah. I got bad news for folks, but they are not denuclearizing. But this is the way you get there is by playing nice. And then America a year from now says, OK, you can have 20 nukes. So that's one year in the future. Well, we will see. The future is yours. Suits, thanks again.